the main important features of log4j would be it is thread safe we will see that the logger class which we use it is a is a synchronized class so whatever the uh, methods will be using on that class these are all synchronized so obviously it is a thread safe and it is optimized for high speed the tracing happens very fast in a logging framework so that's why we would say that it is optimized for high speed it supports multiple output appenders per logger. As I already mentioned, we could use console uh, appender, we could use file appender. So uh, in that way, we could use multiple appenders per logger. Means for every logger, we could use multiple appenders. It supports internationalization. This is something which we, you don't have to worry about right now because that is something which is called as I18N. So Log4j has been giving support for I18N as well uh, also as in support for various languages. It is not restricted to a predefined set of facilities. Means you could, you could configure the way you want it to. That's why the, this logging framework is more of a flexible, it is reliable. And it is not, you know, stick to certain rules like like how we we would use system or println or whatever we we would use before. So this has made a more flexible. So and then logging behavior, we could set any logging behavior at runtime using the configuration file. The configuration file also you would you could you could uh, uh, write dot xml file or you could write dot properties file as we do in uh, when it comes to different uh, different other frameworks it's the same way we could write the configuration file and we would inject in it into the program it is designed to handle java exceptions also from the start and as i mentioned it has various levels called as all trace debug info warn error and fatal and also i mentioned that the level which you set for example let's say if you have set the level as info so the messages from info and above will appear on your console or the file whatever destination you have given the format of the log output can be easily changed by extending the layout class so there's a layout cl class in the in the log4j package so this class would let you to format the way you want to format the output as in you would want the log file to have certain date or you, you would like to have certain timestamp on it. So all of these you could, you know, uh, change it or, you know, format as you want. The target of the log output file as well as the writing strategy can be altered by implementations of the appender interface. So the two classes that is the console the file these are the uh, these are the class these are the uh, classes which are uh, inheriting the appender interface you could implement these two classes as in uh, uh, the way you want it to it is a fail stop however although it certainly strives to ensure delivery log4j does not guarantee that each log statement will be delivered to its destination these were some of the features of log4j so in the next lecture, we would see what are the advantages as well as disadvantages of this logging framework. Thank you.